Gamey. The one word you never want to hear used to describe your cooking. You've probably heard all of the so-called fixes for this problem. Soak it in salt water. Soak it in buttermilk. Use Coca-Cola. Have you tried vinegar? Let it hang for a few days. If so, you've also had the experience of tasting the marginal results produced by these methods. Well, that's all about to change. Today, I'm going to share with you a tried and true method that will change the way you think about deer meat forever. I'll share my number one tip for getting the game taste out of your deer meat and also show you one of my favorite recipes to cook it. Getting that nasty flavor out of your meat actually starts before you ever heat up a skillet. When deer meat is processed, there's a number of things that can contribute to this, but the most brawny of them is staring you right in the face. Everything you see here that is white, besides the countertop, needs to go. All of the ligaments and tendons, and especially that translucent silver skin shrouding the maroon-colored flesh, even the soft fats that are so good in beef need to be discarded. Start with a good sharp fillet knife and just slip it under that skin, working it back and forth until you can peel it away. You will want to cut the meat away from the bones, but don't saw through them, as bone dust would be yet another gamey salt. Now I know this seems like extra work, but taking the time to do this will pay in groves. And this one extra step will do more to smooth out the flavor of your deer meat than many of the other fixes found on the internet combined. You can't get all of it on this piece of meat because if you tried, you would just end up with a bunch of meat scraps and not a roast. So you just do the best you can with what's on the outside. That, if you went in there and got all of that that's under that layer, pretty soon all you would end up with was a bunch of little bitty scraps of meat. So, don't worry about being perfect. Just get what you can. Take it to a processing plant, it's not going to taste as good as if you've done it yourself because they won't have time to do as good a job as you will. That stuff is probably not going to bother. That's just an outer sheen. That's really probably good enough. Now that we have our delicious piece of meat all clean and ready, let me show you my better than beef recipe that is sure to win the palates of even the most critical tasters. To start, what you'll need is some flour, buttermilk, and a packet of onion soup mix. Scoop a good portion of white flour into your bowl, and then add the onion soup mix over the top of that. Just kind of mix them together a little bit with your hands and you're ready to go. The first thing we'll need to do is take our pieces of deer meat, and this is really a recipe for filet, but you can use roast or anything like that. I've done it with both plenty of times. And what we'll want to do is cut it into small medallions about uh, between a quarter and a half inch thick. Once we have all our medallions cut, I like to take a meat tenderizer and use the pointed side of it and just kind of tap some divots into it. This will both tenderize it and those divots will help our breading to stick better. Now what you want to do is take your medallions and dip them in the buttermilk and roll them in your flour. If you press down on them good and hard while you're rolling them in the flour, the breading will stick better. It won't all come off in your skillet. Now we'll just lay them in our hot skillet to fry. We could use butter or olive oil or anything in this, but I've found the best thing to use is bacon grease. 
it really sets off the flavors of your meat and it's just amazing. Once they're good and brown, we'll go ahead and flip them. You can see right there now why I use the onion soup mix instead of just adding powder and things in there myself is because you've got those little dried crunchy onion bits that are on there. I think they're delicious. I like to cook these just till they're brown on the outside so they can be a little bit red in the center. So there's my number one tip on how to get rid of the gamey taste in your deer meat and also my better than beef recipe. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. To see more like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.